It's been a busy spring so far here, but with my mind whirling with so many ideas, it's felt like my focus has been split. I'm trying to design the various growing spaces for the areas across the site, coming up with layouts along with lots of research into the plants and their favoured habitats. As I've sketched in features and paths with bricks and sticks, it looks a bit like I'm doing half a job everywhere. But I'm really enjoying this loose approach. It seems to be getting things moving. Before procrastinating too long on a decision, I've been getting it into action. And even if much of what I'm doing is more of a Mark 1, I at least get to live with it for a bit before committing to anything too permanent. As the weather promised to start to warm, I became eager to get some seeds growing. Lots of seeds. I haven't decided where they'll all be going yet, but I knew I wanted a huge variety. So I opted to jump in at the deep end and start getting plenty of them sown. I have no greenhouse, so I set myself the task of building a cold frame. I'm never keen on using plastic, but there are times when it can be a great option. I had this to hand and I thought it'd do a good job at killing off the grass and keeping things neat while I get set up here. This little zone in the front garden will be used as a bit of a nursery. I've always been an overthinker and like to design things in detail, getting stuff laid out on paper, worrying and fussing and being a bit of a perfectionist really. And I found it's meant that many of my ideas never get done. There's not much point in perfection if it doesn't materialise. There's so much I'd like to put into action here, so I've recently taken up an entirely new approach. Make it up as I go along. I think it could be a good exercise in building up self-trust and letting go of being too judgmental. It's only a cold frame after all, not much point in taking things too seriously here. It'll be fairly big, so I will make it sturdy and with practical access. I'm using materials found about the place, so I'll let them dictate the actual size. The cladding will form the outer walls, so they give the overall length. And the width was guided by this mesh. I'll be using it to form a base to sit the plants on. If you found this content through the English Woodworker, then please don't judge Richard's teaching by my woodworking skills. And I'm sorry for letting the saw get so rusty too. I left it in the garden over winter. I couldn't find a level, so I'm using this strange ruler instead. I'll not aim for perfection of course, but this is well out and I'd like to have water sitting somewhat evenly. The 
these sticks will form the structure for the outer frame. So I want them a good way into the ground. There's this issue on the site where many areas have had piles of bricks and chalk left to sit for decades and work into the soil. It's a pain digging here. And I didn't want big holes, so I used a bolster to smash through everything in my way. It did the job well. The cladding will form an outer wall, so I'm laying them up just to get the locations for the posts. I used some lime render I had to hand to fix them in. It'll not set as quick as cement, but it'll do the job eventually. If you're not good with vague and wonky, then you'll not use sticks for this. I eyed them in level the best I could. The string was used in an attempt to get the central post in line. With the frame complete, it was time to cover it. On the short ends, the plastic was pulled taut and fixed in place, but the longer sides were set up so that they're removable. I'm still making this up as I go along, by the way, but I figured a second length of cladding would work well to hold the plastic in place. These fixings are much too long, but they're all I could find, so I used them, and added a nut as a spacer to pack them out a bit. I made these holes loose so the bolts could slide in and out easily. The sheet will attach to a length of cladding at both the front and the back, going up and over the high centre. Two sheets will be used in total, divided by the posts in the middle.
It was a bit of a fiddle fixing the plastic in place, but I soon got there. All in all, a slightly wonky yet quick build that's apparently nice and warm inside. So it was time to move on to the more important task of sowing the many, many varieties of seed. Things are starting to sprout now, so I'll share some details of sowing all of these in another video.